This is KULD News 13 Live. Right now, the future of our local Air Force base and also major employer here in Tucson may be at risk, but none of the local group has anything to say about it. I'm Morgan Kirkland, and I'm going to show you how that group is fighting for our service members and their families. Some are angry, most are frustrated, but almost all the people that I spoke with say they're just simply ready to move on one way or another. And that's exactly how this business owner right here at Stone Cactus Gallery feels this morning. So I did my homework and I want to show you exactly how this breaks down. Again, we have 3,000 TUSD teachers getting a $1,300 raise. Teachers, they get paid every two weeks. That breaks down to about $50 per paycheck, really breaking down into $25 per week. The gender pay gap is wider than ever before. On average, women are still making 78 cents for every dollar men earn right here in the U.S. And as a whole, women, they lose out on more than, get this, $400,000 over the course of their entire career. Women of color are shorted more than double that. Eight Marana police officers doing just this right here, driving around looking for people who have skipped out on their DUI traffic or even drug related charges. The Oro Valley Hospital right here on Tangerine near Oracle got a B. That is the highest out of all Tucson area hospitals. Out of all seven of those Tucson area hospitals, everyone else got a C grade. We are live right here on Santa Clara Avenue. As you can see, City Crews right now hard at work, working to fill these potholes on this pretty long street. We've got dozens of potholes. They just started to do their work. Here on Grant near Mountain, you have two options. You could either drive carefully or you could ruin your car when you drive over uneven bumpy roads just like this. But what happens when crews fix streets and everything smooths out? Tucson police, they have their theory and they're using it to Catch you. Later this afternoon, airport officials will be voting to move forward with some plans to revamp the airport like you just mentioned. I'm going to take a step out of the way and show you some of these potential plans. So those security lines that you see right there, they're going to be gone and replaced with a room full of benches. So that, of course, is the big question this morning. La Rua's Mexican food right here on Broadway and Campbell, one of the many buildings in limbo over the last three decades. Well, Jenna, I'm here along the I-10 just off of Tan and just up the road from here is one of the deadliest parts of the highway in the entire United States. So if you're headed out on the road this weekend, you need to be on high alert. And if you do get caught behind the wheel after a few drinks, it could land you up to 10 days in jail and up to a $1,500 fine. I'm here at Rose Canyon Lake near where this fire sparked yesterday morning. So in just a few hours, work starts right here near Alvernon and Speedway. I asked Pima Animal Care and also Sheriff's deputies what they plan to do about this to make sure that it never happens again. But they have not given me an answer this morning. I volunteer here often every single weekend almost. I see the women inside of this facility right here cleaning up the cages for all these dogs. They go in and out of this door right here and getting in and out of the shelter is pretty simple. All they have to do is walk through this unlocked door and they're free. Still a lot of unanswered questions this morning about this officer involved shooting right here on Fairmont near Speedway in this very seemingly quiet neighborhood. But here's what we do know this morning. Police right now investigating the officer involved.